how to become a much more fluid fighter. Now you see the video. I like to be very elusive, very cunning with my hands. I like to refer to my style as like a snake. I like to just slither down low and, and strike with really quick precision, lightning quick precision. But I really like that style, just that kind of lanky, more fluid style. Now, in order for you to get a much more fluid style, okay, here are some tips that will help you out. Number one, music. You know, every fighter, every fighter, every great fighter that I've studied always understood the importance of having a rhythm. It's hard for you to have rhythm when you don't really listen to music. You got to kind of find music that you love, that you enjoy, that puts you in a good mood. Could be rock music, you know? And from there, start to shadow box, hit the heavy bag, do all of your training with this music. I know some people nowadays like to say, oh, listening to music is cheating. This is for fighting. You got to have rhythm. Everybody else talking about that, that's just for like working out, whatever. They're just workout dudes. They're not battling other human beings in a fucking fist-to-fist -fist confrontation, okay? So, you got to have some rhythm. This is just the basics of it. You know, fighting, especially boxing, is a lot of rhythm. A lot of rhythm. Boom, boom. Once you find your rhythm, you got to just practice, practice, practice. Now, depending on what you like, your style, your fluidity will be different, okay? Now, let's say like Roy Jones, Mike Tyson. Two totally different styles, yet they were very fluid with what they were doing. And a lot of it, you always got to understand this. I'm always going to bring it back to this point when it comes to fighting, any combat sport. Everything you're doing is just an expression of what's within. This is why music is very important. Music, when it taps into you, it, it taps into something in here. And when you feel it in here, you start to like ooh, move and groove. You start to, it starts to manifest itself on your body. So music is very important, okay? Um, you look at Mike Tyson's style, you can kind of guess what he listens to. You look at Roy Jones' style, you can kind of guess what he listened to. And it's for all fighters, it's like this, okay? So you got to listen to some music, shadow box a lot in front of the mirror with headphones on, and really just let the beat take you. Don't really think about too much critiquing your form. Just see what happens, okay? A lot of the videos that you're seeing um, of me shadow boxing is just me just flowing with it. And this is over time, okay? Now, when you establish a little type of rhythm, okay? You got to spar. You got to transfer this spontaneity spontaneous fluidity to actual real world combat now all the things that you see me do shuffling my feet moving here and there really moving my hands i actually do that sometimes i have many different looks i've learned how to you know deal with a lot of different styles so even though i shadow box one way i'm not gonna fight everybody that way I, sometimes i'll keep a close guard sometimes i'll take like a tie stance really throw my kicks, or I'll use a boxer stance, really Philly shell, whatever, okay? I've learned to do it all. And um, same thing for you. Once you start feeling your, your grooviness, you're going to feel a little weird. You're going to be throwing stuff that's really out of this world. And what you got to do is, when you get into sparring, you got to see what works and what doesn't work. And if you throw a jab this way, okay, you got to move your head this many times. If you throw it this way, you got to like step back. You know what I mean? You got to start using this fluidity in reality, then gathering information to better sharpen it. So when you go back to practice, to your free flow shadow boxing with your headphones on, you can then put those pieces together and make your movements much more fluid and applic applicable to real world combat. Damn, that was a lot. So, music, sparring, 
And number two is studying. Studying fighters that you like. This is one that I mentioned in my TikTok. I'll mention it here again is that, you know, when you're trying to find a style, trying to find, you know, what is good for you. Instead of trying to pay attention to who wins the most, of course, you want to know who wins the most. But just like with music, you want to study fighters that your eye is drawn to. Like, you see a guy style and you just be like, damn, that's real cool. I really like that. Like, when you're really drawn to something, okay, it's much easier for you to emulate it. I don't want to get too deep on you, but th that's just the way it is. Like, if you're really drawn, you see a lot of guys who are uh, doing tutorials on peekaboo style, Mike Tyson style. These guys that really mimic the peekaboo style really good. Understand, they were really drawn to it. They really, they had a a certain kind of connection, physical connection, desire, heart desire towards peekaboo style. So when they emulate it and they teach it, it looks Almost exactly the same, if not better than how Mike Tyson did it. And that's just, I would say, a spiritual thing. But it's it's easier to emulate styles that you're really drawn to. So for me, I was really drawn to like Roy Jones, um, Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard. I'm also drawn to like Anderson Silva, uh, George St. Pierre, some Thai guys, um... Dude, there's a lot. Sanchai, Bukal. I mean, so I really like that lanky, more fluid type of like speed with power, but not like, I'm not too keen of Pacquiao. Like he's a really good boxer, but I, I don't like that really 30 punch combinations. Like I really just like that quick one, two, pop, pop. And then just, ooh, being loose today and pop, pop, you know? So when I would watch them, and I would like study it. Like it was easy for me. Like I'd be watching it. And like I could kind of. My body just connects to it. Because the desire in my heart. And just my attraction to it. Really starts get getting my mind firing. And my body just kind of just emulates it. So when you want to just try finding a much more fluid style for yourself. Study fighters that your eyes are drawn to. Okay. So that's basically the basic rundown, you know, as a beginner, the main points that I can give you is shadow boxing with music in front of a mirror and really just trying to get your rhythm down, finding a nice groovy rhythm for me, okay, for the music, a lot of you asked um, on TikTok, a lot of 80s music, a lot of the f boxers and fighters, even Thai fighters that I like were from the 80s, they all fought in the 80s and I was like, huh, you know, music was a big... Uh, music is always going to be a big thing, okay? And I wondered, I was like, maybe I should listen to what music was around that time. And maybe, you know, that spirit will transfer. And of course, that's just that was just my theory upon it. And that's what helped me. Listen to a lot of 80s music, Michael Jackson. Um, I like to listen to a lot of... Um, it's like Cubano... Um, cafe music like cha cha, do 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 do. Dude, I'll even listen to like some Selena, um, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Prince. Um, damn, what is those called? There's another uh, Gypsy Kings. Damn, I'm I'm giving you like all of my secrets, but. And I also realize, you know, when you listen to bands, people that play instruments, you know, when a guy plays an instrument, man or woman. They got to fully be immersed in it and really just take themselves into it, whether they're playing the guitar. You know, it's not just a machine where they're just pressing a button and using a computer. They really feel the instrument. So when you listen to a band like Earth, Wind & Fire, there's like, what, eight of them playing an instrument. It's all of these energies just immersed in their instrument coming together to make one sound and it just like fills you up and it's like oh makes me want to move my head like i can hear the rhythm in my head doo, 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 bing, bing, bing. and it just that's how music can really help your style making you much more fluid much more loose if you like to be tight same thing you watch mike tyson even though he was a very rugged guy he was actually really loose how he threw his punches how he whoa, 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 to move your head that fast your, your back muscles, your legs can't be tight, okay? You got to be very fluid.
to move like Mike Tyson. Even Roy Jones, even though he was kind of muscular and ripped, very fluid. Same thing, Sugar Ray Leonard. Um, very fluid, very smooth with it. Mayweather, same thing. You watch a lot of Mayweather's training sessions. There's Michael Jackson in the background. Okay, so music. Then um, understanding your fluidity while listening to music, applying it to the sparring and still trying to keep that rhythm in your sparring, see what works, see what doesn't work. And then um, what was that third point? Basically music, all music, sparring and studying. And you just, that will be your journey, dude. Basically, this is the whole thing. Sparring, practicing, studying. Um, and the studying, at the end, you know, the more you time you put into it, the more you'll gather information, the more you spar, the more information you'll gather. And down the line, you'll end up just creating your own style. And instead of really studying, you're going to be doing a lot of self-analyzation. Okay, you'll watch fights. And you'll see, okay, I can fight this guy like this, like this. It's not going to be like, oh, I like this guy's jab. It's going to be more like, okay, my style can, with the way I jab, move my head. I would have to move this or that way. So a lot of self-analyzation. The studying will be from other fighters down to you. And just analyzing, okay? And this is the biggest point. Just finding your rhythm, applying it in the real world with sparring. And then a lot of self-study, all right? That's how you become a much more fluid fighter. Get that rhythm. Boop, boop, boop. Start dancing, all right? So, in the end, it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Always remember, train hard, be kind. Until next time.